Can you solve this inequality? Being able to recognize the different types of inequalities gives you a leg up on solving them correctly and being able to recognize when you haven't. Remember that inequalities have many right answers. Compound inequalities have a narrower set of right answers. Like solving a simple inequality, your goal is to get the variable alone, so whatever you do to one part has to be done to all parts of the inequality. What makes compound inequalities unusual is that you're either solving a three-part inequality or you're solving two entirely separate inequalities for the same problem. Compound inequalities that involve the word and will produce a set of answers with a definite beginning and a definite end. They're often represented by a three-part inequality. The goal is to get the variable by itself, so anything you do to one part has to be done to all three. To graph, draw the appropriate circle on each number and shade the line in between. Compound inequalities that involve the word OR will produce two sets of answers that either overlap or don't include the other at all. Each set will start at a specific number and then continue on as if it were a simple inequality. If the lines overlap but one of them started at an open circle, that number is not part of the solution. Can you solve this inequality? Start by solving the inequality. Remember to undo operations across all three parts. The inequality simplifies to 1 is less than x is less than or equal to 3. We'll graph this by placing an open circle on 1, a closed circle on 3, and shading the line in between the two. When working with compound inequalities, remember to be careful with the direction your inequality is facing so you can determine if you have an AND or an OR compound inequality.